Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do something in your Etsy shop using Printify that I've gotten a lot of questions about, and that is how to create a listing that offers different design options on the same product when you have more than two product variations and you can't just use the listing the way Printify publishes it. I hope that intro was clear because sometimes it's kind of hard to describe exactly what it is we're gonna do here, and I think that that's part of the reason why the question can be confusing. But a lot of people have asked me how to do this in the comments on my other videos, especially the ones about creating combination listings that offer different product types in the same listing. If you are actually looking for how to create a listing that offers a combination of different products that have the same design, I do have videos about that. I'll link to those in the description. I'll throw a link in the corner too. In this video, we're talking about the same product, but different design options in the same listing. Now, one of the reasons why this can be confusing is because Etsy only allows you to have two product variations in each listing. Sometimes you may have the space to add a second variation if the product by default only has one, but other times you could already have two variations in the listing and so you need to try and find a way to get that third variation in so you can offer different design options in the same listing. And either way you can do it. I'll show you how to do it both ways. We'll start with phone cases as an example. So if you're selling phone cases, let's use this tough case option from Printify. It is from Spoke Custom Products. Let's say you wanted to offer these tough cases across different phone models, but you also want to offer different design options in the same listing. What you're gonna to need to do first is create product drafts for each design option you want to offer on these phone cases. And you wanna make sure that the models that you select, the variations for the different phone models is the same on each of your drafts. The best way to do that is just to copy the first draft over and create the different design options that you want. So this is our first one. We'll come up to product variants and I will check off the box for everything and then probably get rid of a couple on here maybe that are less common just to keep the number a little bit lower but we'll select update there. So we got a bunch of phone models in there. This one is just gonna be the first option. And I'm just gonna use some of Printify's built-in patterns that they offer to keep this quick and easy. Do the same design process you normally would, and then save this one as a draft. Now you do wanna give it a name so you know what it is, but you don't have to worry about description or pricing. All right, so we'll call that one Avocado Tough Case. We'll hit save as draft. Then we can use the duplicate feature here in our listing page. So we'll hit the duplicate button, it'll create a copy of it. That way it'll carry forward all of the same you know, phone models. And then all I have to do is click on the edit design and change the design. So for this one, we'll do this cat pattern and we will hit save product. And I will name this one cat tough case so I know what it is. We'll save that draft. I'm gonna stop at two for this example, but you could do this with as many as you want. Just know that the more you do, the more work you're creating for yourself because we have to create variations for the different design options. So I probably wouldn't do more than three in the same listing because it's gonna create a lot of variations. You don't need to publish either one of these. All we needed was the draft so that we can get the SKU numbers. But if you did publish one, let me show you what it actually looks like. I'll go ahead and I'll publish this one to my Etsy shop. I'm gonna publish it as a draft so it doesn't actually go live in my Etsy shop. So we'll select hide in store and I will go ahead and hit publish. One other thing you can do, by the way, when you're creating these drafts is download some of the mockups. It will be helpful for you to have some mockups available for each of these models that you're gonna offer. But because there are a lot of different phone models, you may want to use Canva or Photoshop or whatever software you use to take some of those and combine them. So maybe put like four on each mock-up image or something like that, uh, especially if you're offering different designs. You're probably going to have to get creative with those mock-ups so that you can show the variety of designs you offer in a way that still fits within just the 10 images that you're allowed to use on each listing. So go ahead and download those when you're creating those product designs. Go to that preview view and just download the ones that you want to use to create your mockups. All right, so I'm in my drafts folder now, and here's how that comes through. If we just take a look at how do these variations normally get published, if we just publish this by itself as one design, what we've got here is just one variation. We have the phone model, and then we have the SKU number and the price and the quantity. Now, SKU price and quantity don't actually count towards our two variations, so if we take a look at the variations here, we actually can still add a variation to this listing. So each time you do this, you could actually just publish one of the variants and then add your variation and that will kind of reduce your work a little bit. So if we do create your own, we can give this a name. So now what we want to do is name this one. Oops, I could spell. We'll name this one design. And then what you want to do is add your different design options as those variations. So I'm going to put avocado and cat as my two variations, but you would add as many as you have. Again, I don't really recommend doing more than three or four. If we click done on that, now we have phone model 
and design as our two variations. One other thing we need to change here is for the prices, quantities, and SKUs, we wanna make sure that we change this so that it indicates both variations apply here. So we wanna be able to put in different SKUs by design. So we wanna make sure that they, they list both phone model and design for all three here. Then we can click on apply. Now, unfortunately, one thing that happens no matter what you do here is Etsy wipes out all of the SKU price and quantity information that was already there. So that means you are still gonna have to copy and paste over all of the SKU numbers for everything here instead of just the one that you added. And we'll talk about what to do if your product type already has two variations in just a second. But first, let's just wrap this up. So what you would need to do from here, of course, go ahead and re-enter all your pricing. You can just do select all on the quantity and change the quantity to $9.99 for everything. So that's quick, but you'll have to go back through and enter your prices. Now, if your prices are exactly the same for every phone model, you can also select all and just update the price that way. So as long as the prices don't vary by model, which for this one, I don't think they do. So I think we are safe to go ahead and put in the same price for all models. So then all you need to do is copy over the SKU numbers. That will take a while, even with just two variations for design in here, because there's a lot of different phone models that we offered here. But the fastest way to do that, I think, is to make your screen half size and pull out your browser window for Printify on the other side. Just set them side by side like this. If you have dual monitors, you can just put one on one monitor, the other on the other one as well. But if you only have one monitor, then you can just kind of make them each half the screen. Then open each of the listings that you created as drafts on Printify and scroll down to the prices and variants. And now this one is the cat one. So we're gonna need to make sure we pay attention here and only do the cat design option. And what we're gonna need to do is copy all these SKU numbers over. So just come over here and select the SKU number. This is the iPhone XS. So so we'll copy that one. And then we need to find cat iPhone XS over here and paste that in. So there we go, iPhone XS cat, paste the SKU number in. Now you gotta do that for all of the variants. And the reason we're doing that is because once we have that completed, any orders we get will automatically sync to Printify and we can take advantage of automated order submission. All of that stuff will be automated and work. Even if those listings are drafts in your account and not published, this will work. Works the exact same way for other combination listings. Uh, so that's why we're doing it on the front end because it will save us time on the back end. We won't have to do any manual order fulfillment. So what do you do if you're doing this with a product that already has two variations? I'm just gonna use a t-shirt for this because it's an easy example, but this would be true. This process is the same for any product that already has two variations. So of course, for apparel, for a t-shirt, it's gonna be the size and the color. So there are already gonna be two variations in our listing for size and color, and we need to get a third variation for the design option in there. Now you would start the process the exact same way. You would create the product drafts on Printify for all of the design options that you wanna offer in this listing. So if it's two options, you create the two options there. If it's three options, you create all three first and so on. Then how you start the listing on Etsy, again, you have options, do whatever's the easiest for you. You can publish one of those drafts and then edit that. If you've already done this within a previous listing, you can copy that listing and then just replace all the information, do whatever's the easiest for you. I personally find that for these types of listings, I think publishing one of the drafts and then editing it's probably the easiest. You'll already have some mockups in there. You'll have some of the variation information that you need. So, so for me, that's the way I like to do it. But if you would rather do it one of the other ways, that's also totally fine. So let's just pretend I have another design option for this listing and I published this one. And so when we scroll down to variations, we'll see we already have two variations here. So we're already maxed out. We have color and we have size. So how how do we get a third variation in here? Well, we need to come to manage variations. We're gonna to need to edit one of these variations to include the design information as well as the variation that's already there. So again, we're gonna lose all the details. We're gonna lose the SKU numbers, the prices, the quantities, because we're gonna change this. Now, I think it makes sense to add the design information into the color variation rather than the size. You could technically combine it either way. Just for me, I don't know why, I think it makes more sense to have the design and the color together instead of the size. So what I'm gonna do is click on the pencil icon here under the color variation. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna delete the options that are here because we can't edit the individual options, but we can add our own. So I'm gonna delete these three variations that are here. And I'm gonna change this variation to color and design. So now the name of the variation is color and design, and we can manually create our variations here. So we had three colors to offer. So you wanna include the name of the color, but then also include the name of the design. You don't have a super high character limit here, so you're gonna have to keep the names of the design and the colors pretty short. So if I just put sport gray, design A, design B, black, design A, black, design B, there you go, you get the picture. So what you need to do is create 
a color slash design combo variation for each combination that you're gonna have. So there we go. We've got sport gray, black and white, design A, design B. Now, if you do actually name them this way, like design one and two or design A and B, make sure in your mockups, you have added text to make it clear to the customer which one is A and which one is B. All right, so we hit done there, and then this takes us back to our variations. You wanna make sure that your prices, quantities, and SKUs still indicate they vary for both of your two variations here. If this only shows one, make sure you change it so that it lists both because we need all those separate combinations. Now you can click on apply, and yes, it's going to wipe out all of your information. So again, we need to go back to Printify, get our SKU numbers, and paste them all over for each color and design option. So so this part of the process works the same as it does for any other combination listing, and this will let all of our orders sync to Printify. But that's how you do it. That's how you get a third variation into a listing that only allows two variations. So if you wanna offer different design options in the same listing, you just need to add that third variation into one of the existing variations by customizing it. Now, doing this where the product is the same, it's just different design options, this doesn't create any issues with shipping. It is the same as if you were only offering one design because all of the products are the same. It's not like the combination listings where you've got t-shirt and hoodie in the same listing, so you gotta figure out how to balance the shipping. In a situation like this, this is just all the same product, but different design. So if you had a t-shirt shipping profile that you normally use, you can still use it for this type of listing and you won't have any issues. All right, so that's it. That's how to add a variation for design choices into a listing that either only has one existing variation or already has two existing variations using Printify. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was and also let me know if you still have any questions. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button.